Hello everyone and welcome to this first video on my channel where I'm going to show you five very strong openers that you can do uh, casually or competitively in your corridor games. Um, but before I begin with this video, maybe a quick word to introduce myself. So I've been playing corridor for about a year now. I have uh, 504 ELO on the website Board Game Arena where you can play corridor for free. Um, and I got a f about a thousand games played in total, so I think it's a good time for me to give you a summary of the um, most frequent and also the most interesting and uh, reliable uh, openers that you can do in Corridor. So without further ado, let's begin with opener number one, the standard mirror. Alright, so the first opener is pretty simple, it's maybe the simplest in this list. Uh, black and white are going to encounter in the middle of the board and white is going to throw a very standard opener, just a wall behind him and black is going to respond like this. So this situation is actually interesting because if we assume that they both continue to copy each other um, maybe with something like this this situation is actually in favor of black because um, everything that white does can be copied the same way um, for black and white is going to end up losing the game because white will eventually have to move forward and black can then jump over the pond. So just to give you one example, if we continue to assume that they both play a very standard game copying each other you see that actually white has no longer any wall to place on the board so white has to move forward and black can jump over and you can steal very easily games from good players with this with this opener if, if they do not know how to react so it's a very strong opener to know and definitely a very strong opener that you need to know how to counter as white. So let's move on to the next opener, the Fresh Prince Eric. Alright, so the second opener is named after the very good player Fresh Prince Eric. It's one of the standard plays you can see in board game arena if you play competitively. So white will open with a standard opener as usual and then black is going to put a wall behind him. That's that's the opener in question, that's the Fresh Prince Eric opener. Why is it good? Well, because if white keeps on walling behind and black plays a perfect uh, symmetry type of, of game, then it's very difficult for white to punish black because um, black can al always have a, a solution uh, like this, for example, or if white tries to move forward, black can play like this um, and then it's going to be very complicated for white to win this game moving forward. So I think this opener is very good. It opens the door to more complex openings like this one for example um, where white can play like that. In general it's a very good opener to know and it leaves the door open to many many options. So let's move on to the next opener, the Black Rush. Alright, so this opener is actually one of my favorites in this video. Um, Black is going to start very aggressively before both players encounter by placing this wall. And this wall is actually very strong because you can see that white cannot easily close the bottom side of the map while it's easier for black to do so and if white decides to move forward then black can always find a way to try and close this exit and and force white to do a bigger turn around the map and from this point the game usually uh, starts to become more interesting so there are a lot of options possible. Black can respond like this, for example. Um, and this is the kind of setup that, that can become interesting as well. 
Uh, I'll probably do a dedicated video if you're interested into this opener because I play it very regularly uh, in competitive games and it's one of the most uh, popular uh, aggressive type of play that black can do earlier uh, in the game. Now let's move on to the next opener, the cool story bro. Um, this opener is kind of funny and kind of aggressive as well because black is going to begin like this with a wall straight up in the face of white and from this point white will have to react to this play. Um, it's going to be a game of white trying to escape from this kind of prison that black is trying to create while black is going to try to rush as soon as possible to the exit with less walls than white. So for example this is the type of play that we can usually see um, on games where white has more walls but black is usually in a better position to reach the exit so white has to be creative and find ways to to prevent black from reaching this exit too too early and um, and it usually opens uh, interesting games as well now let's move on to the last opener that I'm going to show you today, the X Black. This opener is probably one of the most complex and uh, advanced opener that you can think of. So white is gonna move forward and black is gonna react very early, first with a wall to defend himself and second with a kind of black rush wall to um, confuse white. It makes it more difficult for white to um, maneuver because black has this extra wall in defense that gives him more flexibility but at the same time black is further away from victory so it's also a cost for black who spends an extra wall and does not move um, forward. Um, at this stage I have not studied this build order enough to give you uh, more information but I really encourage you to practice on the ladder and, and try it by yourself and probably you will do a video one day if you're interested and, and if I have the, the opportunity to, to deep dive into this build order. All you need to know today is that it's probably one of the best openers that black can do in Corridor and one of the most uh, interesting ones. All right, so we are reaching the end of this video. Uh, please leave a comment in the video if you liked it. I really want to create a community of players who are passionate about Corridor and want to dive deeper and crack the puzzles and help each other. Uh, leave a like as well. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it. It will always support me moving forward. I will leave you the link to my account in the description if you wish to add me as a friend and play with me. Uh, and of course, if you want uh, specific videos, feel free to uh, give your ideas in the description and I will uh, definitely respond to you. Thank you very much and see you later.